Well, hello, my friendly shoppers, and welcome back. This is Gina. Now, we are back at Trader Joe's, and today we're actually going to two Trader Joe's. So let's start with the first one. The Fall Moms, $6.99. They're out in the front. You can tell the store is open. It's really early morning, which is one of my favorite times to come. I mean, look at these. Oh, these are just so beautiful. There's so many choices right now. It so really depends on the size of flowers you want. A lot of places have really great prices on these moms. And then look at this, the mini rose in the tent, $4.99. So there's a choice between the yellow and the white. And then oh, look at more of the moms. Those are so cute. Now we're just going to, like I said, we're just jumping right in the caramel apples. We saw the other kit last week. This week, this is just the, uh, this is just the caramel. So, which is nice, choose any of your favorite apples, $3.49, and then here, no salt pecan pieces, $4.99. Oh, that would be good to add to your caramel apples, yum. And this is a new Brussels sprouts uncured bacon ravioli. I'm going to add that to my list, that actually looks really tasty. And I love Brussels sprouts. Sometimes they always agree with me, though. <laughs> now, check out these beautiful the squash. It is definitely squash season. So many. Now, let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite squash? What is your favorite recipe to make? And the butternut. I mean, there's just so many. And there's so many good recipes out there. The soups. Oh, I love it. The little mini fairy tale pumpkins for $2.99. How adorable are those? Now, if you watched me last week, uh, we raved about the maple, salted maple ice cream. Yes, I'm getting some more. I'm getting like four more of these. I'm just like so worried they're gonna pass, they're gonna, I'm not gonna pass out, but they're going to run out. It's so good. Now, here's a pumpkin cheesecake. We saw it last week with no price. It is $7.99. Now, somebody asked about their New York cheesecake. I've had it before. It, it was pretty good. I'm not going to buy this this time. I wanted to, but I'm just going to take it easy. Like I said, my plan for the whole fall, I will be trying all of these. But, you know, moderation. I'm going to grab some more of that puff pastry. They only have it for this season. And the Haunted House. My husband liked this one, too, so I'm going to grab this. And we're actually going to get a few because we're going to have a bunch of kids over. Let's have a little little party. Garlic knot, always a staple in our house. $2.69. Fall harvest salsa. Ooh, what will they think of next? $2.99. Now here's the fun thing about Trader Joe's. You're going to find some really good things all over the store. The cheese. This is a new one. I haven't seen my Brie Bites, but this, what is this? That looks cheese on potatoes. Yes, I of course I, I pretty much like cheese on anything, and this is another new cheese. I like I said I, I know I've said this before, especially if you've been following me, and also if you're new, hit that subscribe button or returning viewer. Small gesture. We're here every day. Fun, fun shopping. Mozzarella slices. I'm gonna grab some of those. And this is a new one, organic maple syrup bourbon. Ooh, $9.99. Oh, I love the bottle. And I, yeah, I, I'll almost buy anything in a good bottle. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to pass on that because we do have that bourbon syrup that we got from Costco. But that I'm going to put that on my list. Oh, my husband loves these. I do too. I would say I would buy these for my husband, but right now, yeah, we've got so many little treats. I mean, look at my basket. I came here for milk <laughs> and, the, and the ice cream, <laughs> and it's a little full. So now we're going to be on to Trader Joe's number two. Now, I am in Santa Ana today. I had to run an errand there, and look at this. I haven't been to this store in years. I used to live in this area. I worked right down the street. And so this is very, very touching for me. And it was a little crowded, but that's, that's how the store was. Now, Fearless Flyer has landed. This is always a great little Trader Joe's. Um, it's like a little magazine that kind of tell you what's new. Some recipes, the cinnamon brooms. I didn't see this at the last store. I'm going to grab a couple of these. You can see I just have a little hand basket because I really don't need anything. But I do want a couple of these. Those smell so great. 99 cents. I'm going to grab a couple. I'm going to grab one for me and a friend. And it's just, even in the bag, it smells great. 
And here, maple almonds, $5.99. Maple flavored almonds, that sounds really tasty. And, it, and again, Trader Joe's has a really great prices when it comes to nuts and seeds, pumpkin spice seeds. Ooh. Yes, this is definitely the time of year for these. Pumpkin, and here's a pumpkin pie pumpkins, $1.99. These are so cute. And this is, yeah, if you're making anything pumpkin, this is the pumpkin you're looking for. And here are more pumpkin seeds. So, so those are $3.99, especially if you don't want to carve out the pumpkin and deal with that. $7.99, that's actor, yes. And here, some more. There, you would think, how much more can you find? Yeah, peanut butter chewy coated pumpkin bars. Now, this was a new item we saw last week. We didn't see the price, so three dollars and twenty nine cents. The peanut butter cocoa bars, because in the past we've seen. I'm going to show up here. This is a peanut butter and jelly bars, three dollars and twenty nine cents. So that's been that's one of their staples. Wait, pecan praline granola. $3.49. Yeah, that absolutely sounds delicious. You could put that on if you're making like a pie yogurt. There's so, oh, muffins. Yeah, there's so many uses for that. Maybe pancakes. The list could go on. Yeah, yeah. And that's such a great price because, yeah, again, granola can get pricey as well. Three almond butter granola, $3.99. Well, that looks good. And then here, if you're wanting something a little bit extra sweet, this would be good on ice cream. Three sixty nine JoJo's granola. So it's a little granola, a little bit of the JoJo's. The JoJo's are their version of an Oreo cookie. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit on the sweeter side. Now, this is cute. Bats and Cats Sour Gummies. This is a good size bag. Look how cute this is. Oh, that looks like my little precious girl, <laughs> which she's meowing and yelling at us. And so, yeah, I mean, this is sugar, but it's fun. And like I said, it's a good size bag, especially for that price. That is absolutely adorable. And here are more. Yeah, that salted maple. I just had to check to make sure that they had it, and they do. So good. Again, if you like, if you like butter pecan, definitely want to try that. And the French onion soup, there's two of them in there. I haven't had that for a long time. I really like to make it homemade. Let's see if we can find the price of it. We don't even find the price. Puff pastry, they got some more of that. Gluten free pies, yeah, these are great staples, especially for the holidays. Yeah, just kind of checking out, see if I see anything new at the store. Because sometimes some stores will carry different items. Now, I love their, like, little appetizers. I mean, look at that. The five cheese, the roll, fritch onion, the spinach and artichoke dip. Yes, they have had this for years, and it's actually pretty good. The puff pastries. Yeah, the artichoke dip is $3.49. The five cheese roll, $4.49. The spanakopia. Four forty nine. Yes, really good. And then these, these have been some of my favorites. So easy to make that vegetable masala burger, two dollars and ninety nine cents. And there's four of them in there. I I just grill them up on the skillet. <laughs> Seriously, a couple of minutes and I'm good. Ooh, mashed potatoes, the sweet potatoes. Yes, yeah, sweet potatoes. I absolutely do love, and they're so good for you. Two dollars and forty nine cents. And yeah. I don't think I've ever had a mash. Now here, if you like your biscotti, I like how they're all together. The walnut biscotti, the pumpkin bis biscotti, and they're little. They're not that big. $3.99 for the containers. And ooh, they said, now the almond biscotti is a little bit higher price, $4.49. Maybe it's the almonds in it. And then, ooh, the chocolate. And these, yeah, like I said, they're minis. So if, especially if you don't want a big one. I know Costco has a really big one, so those are good too. Those are $3.99. And what is this? Chocolate chip mini pancake pot? What? This is a dessert. <laughs> this is in the breakfast. There's $3.79. That would be good, like a little scoop of ice cream. Almost reminds me of the profiteroles. How 
fun. Yes, <laughs> we're going to turn around. Look at the calories. Yeah, that's definitely, that is definitely a dessert. I like it. It's right next to the French toast. But those, those would be fun to try. And um, what Mexican style, the hot cocoa melts, $4.99. How cute are these? These are adorable. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab I'm going to grab a set for me and I'm going to grab one for my friend. So, of course, I had to come home. I had to try it out right away. So, I have two boxes. One is one is a gift. These hot cocoa bells. These are so cute. A little bit of higher <laughs> high calories, but I'm going to assume it's got, well, lots of cinnamon, but the chocolate, you've got the marshmallows, all of it. So, the heating is just, you're going to add milk to it. And you're going to heat up your milk. Now, I always do that over the stove. I got my little, you see, I've got the little theme going on, my Halloween. So let's go ahead and get the milk in here. And it's really hot. I think I, I think I may have overcooked it a little bit. Look how cute. These are really well packaged, which I like. Sometimes you get them, they're broken. And how cute is this? So I'm going to go ahead and dunk this in gently. And then here's where the magic begins. Okay, I went to go grab a spoon real quick. It's seriously, two seconds, and it's already melted. And the consistency, so we've got the little mini marshmallows. We're going to stir this up. So it's only one cup of milk. And interesting. Okay, I'm going to try. It's it's okay. It's, yeah, I, I like it. It's the novelty of these. The It's it's fun. I You know, you like it, but I've got to... I think I'm going to add a little bit something to it. I'm not getting the chocolate, so I had like my own like chocolate for for hot chocolate. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. You can see my big Kirkland cinnamon because I love using cinnamon. And then you know what? I added my whipped cream. I had a little cardamom and little cloves, really giving that fall. And it's actually pretty good. Of course I had to add to it so this is really fun maybe use a less milk maybe get that more of a chocolate flavor it is like it is cute it's a lot of calories it is a little bit sweet but it's absolutely a fun thing to do especially for this fall kids would love these pumpkins and like I said I had to add my own probably the spices the kids may not like too much but I do give it a thumbs up once I added a little bit of extra. Like again, it's it's the fun, it's the novelty, and I don't regret buying it at all. And so I'm not gonna drink the rest of them. Let's save those for the kids. <laughs> now here's more apple cider jam and the, the pepper jelly. The pepper jelly is a seasonal item, hot and sweet, and that's only two dollars and ninety-nine cents. And here is that cinnamon bun spread. Now, this is a hot item. I tried it last year. I was okay with it. And so, but that's just me. You know, I know some, some of these products people love. Some people, you know, everybody has their own taste. Now, the yeast is back. 99 cents for a pack of three. So, if you're a baker, this is always a good time to grab a few of those. And sometimes I do store them in the freezer last longer. And look at all their spices. Trader Joe's really has great prices on their spices. This vanilla bean paste for $4.99. That did go up in a little bit of price, but I do have some of that. I like to mix it up. And even saffron, $5.99. It's a smaller jar because a little goes a long way. <laughs> the vanilla extract. This is the vanilla, the pure, the bourbon. And so this, that has a little bit of an extra flavor, which I actually really do enjoy. And yes, yeah, so many great items here, especially with like said, the spices and always check your expiration of the spices. The hot cocoa stirring spoons, another fun, you want to add hot milk to that. That is another fun item for adults and kids. The chocolate almond, the yeah, chocolate coconut almonds. Yeah, I like the way they're doing this display that just grab one and go yeah they're they're I, trader joe's i love their displays now i'm gonna pop into look at this this halloween beer the howling gourds <laughs> six dollars and 99 cents it looks like it's a pack of six now some of these get really like 13.99 for these these l's that's a pack of 
this one's a pack of six. The other one's a pack of four. And look how fun these are. So I'm not a beer drinker, so I couldn't really tell you what is good. And I'm not going to taste them because I could, I could, <laughs> it would probably, like I said, I'm not the best judge. $12.49. And then you have your like Oktoberfest beer for $9.49. And they do have some of these out separate because you can put together a little kit. Oktoberfest, here's a more $6.99. Everybody's getting ready for the season. There is, there is a lot to choose from. Yeah, Trader Joe's does have a really good selection, especially if you want to try different ones. Here's another pumpkin ale, $9.99. Now that was a pack of four. And if you tried any of these, let me know which one's your favorite. Maybe ones that maybe to avoid. <laughs> but I know with, when it comes to alcohol, everybody has their own taste. Yeah, thirteen ninety nine for those. But there's such a huge whoa, the fear. There's such a huge variety. This is probably the biggest variety of different you know beers, especially for the season. Now cookie butter beer, fourteen ninety nine. So I had to end up asking about that because that really got my curiosity they were out they were not going to especially this particular store they sell out really fast i guess it's very popular especially the cookie butter and they said it's not going to be here till like october 16th we may try it then the pumpkin cider now i do like a good cider i usually get these once in a great while like it's probably been about a year and a half since i've had it and yes, so many fun beers, <laughs> but that cookie butter beer, definitely, yeah, that has really sparked my interest. And here's another one, pumpkin spice, the cream liqueur. Yeah, if you're it's only, yes, yeah, not that really high alcohol. This is 23 proof. So if you're like, you don't want to kick up maybe your coffee because it's right next to the Kahlua. Um, yeah, now like I said, if you haven't checked out the Trader Joe's their liquor they actually have pretty good prices and then here some fun chips pumpkin tortilla chips okay i'm gonna i'm gonna assume that's a little bit sweet and then here's your fall leaves how fun are these these are regular tortilla chips but they're really fun if i get gonna see take a look at these Look at how cute these are. These are little fall leaves. So fun. So everybody, thank you so much for coming along with me today at Trader Joe's. Again, thank you for watching and your time, your support means the world to me. Take care and I will talk to you later.